Welcome. We're in Chapter 7. We're going to talk about Group Shot from Photoshop Elements. Um, in the Group Shot, our goal is to combine several photos into a final photo. And you can do this with people or scenes. It doesn't matter. This is our goal to get this final shot. So let me move my thumbnail slider back here and then scroll up a little. So we're going to select between 2 and 10 photos. So we're going to, I'm going to select the first one here and shift click the last photo before the final photo. Okay. Then I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose Edit with Photoshop Elements Editor. This is going to open up Camera Raw instead because these photos were taken in a raw format from my Nikon camera. So it's going to, this is going to be, I call it the, the intermediary. Uh, when, when using Group Shot, you want to make sure your exposure stay the same. You want consistency. And if you're going to shoot something without a tripod, try to keep it consistent at the same level. It'll be better for blending and it'll be better for combining images. So I'm going to select all because I don't want to mess with any of the photos. And I'm going to select open images, which is now going to open it in the Photoshop Elements Editor. And when it's done loading in the full edit mode, you'll see the background finally appear. But if you look at each, each photo here, so if I double click on the project bin uh, thumbnail here for each one, you can see the detail in each photo that I like. As you click each photo thumbnail in the project bin, you can see the detail in one area as compared to another area. And you can see that my goal is trying to encompass this whole little fountain area with detail. Now that can be hard to do with just a front on shot, so you want to do is combine maybe several different photos to make it a complete detailed shot. And that, that's our goal. So I'm going to go over to the guided edits under photo merge group shot. It's going to ask us to select between two to ten photos. I'm going to say open all the more the merrier. If you have two photos and there's something wrong, you have less to work with than if you had ten photos. Now when we use this function or this um, command in guided edits, we don't have to use all the photos, but the more the merrier. And as you can see, it's loaded all the um, photos here, and I'm going to see which one I would like to use as a final photo. To be honest, it really doesn't matter because you're going to take away from each photo, but you know it, it is a good idea, of course. But I'm going to select maybe um, maybe this green one. So I'm going to drag it to here, to the final. And then I'm going to select the pencil tool. And I'm going to double click on this blue tool, or blue tool. I'm going to click on this photo with the blue frame around it. And I'm going to draw around the area in this photo that I want to be applied to the final. So first thing I do is I always increase my brush stroke because it doesn't have to be too detailed. And I also put show strokes, but you're going to see after a while we're going to have to uncheck that. If you do make a mistake, you can always click reset. And then under your advanced options, I believe you can align them. Yeah, you can use the align, which I've talked about earlier in a um, previous tutorial. Okay, so let's look at the difference between this one and this one. Uh, maybe I want to use all of it. So let me see here. I would just paint over the area that I want to use. And it will be added to the final. Now we're going to click on the yellow. And I want to use maybe some parts over here. Great. Okay. Now let's click on the green. That's the one I'm using, so of course we don't want to use that. Let me select the red, and as you can tell, the red border around the source, that's how you know which one you're on also. I want to use parts of this photo. And as you can see, it just adds it on to it. If I made a mistake with the red, you just erase parts of it there. And that will erase parts of it. There we go. Okay. You know, I'd rather s select more red than blue. So let me. There we go. That's a lot better. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the blue here. Oh, no. Excuse me. The, um, yeah, the blue. Blue. I'm going to select not the eraser tool, the pencil tool. Bear with me here. I'm going to move over this area. There we go. Okay. Go to the yellow area, see if there's any difference. If these strokes bother you, this is where you uncheck it so you can see it better. I can see that I'm already happy with what I have, so I don't need to really use that photo. Let me go to green here. Uh, green is just a smaller subset of the previous photo. And let me click the maroon here, and that also. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. So when I'm pretty happy, I'm going to go back to show strokes because I like to just leave it as default there. I'm going to click done. And this is going to combine those areas that I've specified into one final output photo. Let me give it just a second here. 
great. Isn't it beautiful? Now you're probably saying, but wait a minute, I see all this white and messed up area, so what am I going to do? Well, this isn't the actual end result. So what I would do next is I would move over, since we've been talking about the guided edits, I would move back up and I would select crop photo. And then I would just crop the photo to where I would like it. So let me see here. And remove some of that white that's, that's showing. Maybe extend this out a little bit further. Extend this out a little bit further. And then commit it by selecting the green check mark. Now it looks a lot better. Okay, and I'm going to select done. And there we have it. Now, just to see how good of a job it did, because there can always be some discrepancies, you should fill the screen, look at it, select the uh, hand tool, move it around if you can, or look at the print size, and, or zoom in more. And here, let's see here if I can. Okay, now let me use a hand tool so I can look in a little bit more detailed and see how this looks if it were to print out. Okay, I can see the blending is good there. Blending is good there. Blending is good there. Ah, uh, we see some problems here. So we can fix this in the full edit mode, which I'll show in a later tutorial, but you can fix this by masking parts of it out. Okay, as you can see here, look, there's just some, uh, the blending here is a little off. There's two different colors here, right here, and you can see that, so you have to fix that too. So you can understand why keeping the same exposure and keeping consistency is very important. But what I will tell you is I enjoy how the water um, blended nicely. That that's nice. So you move it around here. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, let me do fill screen, and there you have it.